Welcome to Bestie, your go-to channel for reliable healthcare insights and wellbeing tips. Today, we're diving into an intriguing and sometimes controversial topic. What happens to your body when you abstain from eating for five consecutive days? Fasting has gained popularity in recent years for its potential health benefits, but prolonged periods without food can also have serious repercussions. In this video, we'll explore the science behind a five-day fast how it affects your body and mind, and the important considerations you need to keep in mind before attempting such an extreme fast. But remember, before making any significant changes to your diet or fasting routine, consult a healthcare professional to ensure it's safe and appropriate for your unique circumstances. Let's delve into the fascinating realm of fasting and its effects on the human body. Number one, glycogen depletion. Imagine your body playing a game of hide and seek when you decide to skip meals. The energy your body usually relies on is stored in a secret hiding spot called glycogen, a form of stored glucose found in your liver and muscles. Think of glycogen as your body's quick and easy to reach energy stash, like a rainy day fund. But if you skip eating for about a day or two, it's like a surprise storm hitting and depleting that stash. Surprisingly, this stash doesn't last very long. In just one to two days without food, your glycogen stores run out. Your liver and muscles only store a limited amount. About 100 to 120 grams, which gives you around 400 to 480 units of energy like fuel for a car. But here's the catch. An average adult needs about 1800 to 2500 units of energy every day. So you can see why glycogen won't keep you going for long. As these glycogen levels drop, you might start feeling tired, weak, and low on energy, like a sports car running on fumes. But don't worry, your body is pretty smart. When one energy source runs low, it starts looking for other options to keep you going. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers Stay up to date on all our great bestie content. Number two, transition to ketosis. Once your glycogen stash is used up, your body goes into survival mode, a bit like being thrifty with energy. It switches to burning fat for fuel, becoming a fat burning hero to maintain your energy levels. Your liver starts turning fat into something called ketone bodies. These ketones go into your bloodstream and reach different parts of your body including your brain, to keep things running. This fat burning switch usually happens around the third day of not eating. This fat burning state is called ketosis, but it's important not to confuse it with ketoacidosis, a risky situation linked to diabetes. Ketosis has much lower and more controlled levels of ketones. Interestingly, some research suggests that being in ketosis can actually protect your brain and improve your thinking. But don't take this as a green light for super long fasts without talking to a doctor. There are risks, especially with really extended fasting. Always prioritize your health and safety. Number three, decreased basal metabolic rate, BMR. As the saying goes, desperate times call for desperate measures. When your body's running low on fuel, it gets smart and starts saving energy, just like a ship conserving its last bit of food in a desperate situation. It does this by slowing down the basic energy it uses for everyday functions, like breathing and circulating blood. Imagine that it's like your body turning down the thermostat to save heat. This slowdown is called basal metabolic rate, BMR, which usually makes up a big chunk of your energy use when you're just resting. During a long stretch without food, studies show your BMR can drop by 15% to 42%. It's your body's way of making do with less, like a survival skill to make food last longer when it's really scarce. However, this energy saving mode also means your body gets really good at using fewer calories. So if you're aiming to lose weight, it can make it harder. Plus, even when you start eating again, your BMR might stay low, which can lead to gaining back the weight you lost, a bit like a rebound effect. So it's essential to consider all this if you're thinking of fasting for an extended period. Always prioritize your health. Number four, muscle breakdown. Picture your body as a super efficient machine. Even without food for five days, it's like a well-trained mechanism 
that knows how to keep running. When you're not eating, your body has to get clever about finding energy. It turns your muscles into gold mines because they're packed with proteins. Normally, these proteins are used to fix and grow your muscles, but when you're fasting for a long time, it's like a city under siege. Your body starts pulling cobblestones from the streets to keep things going. Once the fat stores can't sustain your energy needs anymore, your body begins breaking down these cobblestones, which are proteins from your muscles. It transforms these proteins into glucose through a process called gluconeogenesis. This tactic helps keep your energy up, but it comes at a cost. Your muscles can shrink and weaken, sort of like how a city streets would crumble without those cobblestones. This muscle breakdown typically happens after a long period of not eating. So it's a bit of a survival mode for your body, even though it's not ideal in the long run. Number five, electrolyte imbalances. Think of your body as a highly coordinated dance. You've got these dancer minerals called electrolytes, sodium, potassium, and magnesium. Leading the show, they're in charge of things like balancing fluids, signaling nerves, and helping muscles do their thing. But when you decide to fast for a while, it's like adding a new prop for the dancers without any rehearsal. Suddenly, they're juggling and trying to keep their balance on a tightrope, and it's not an easy act. Fasting messes with how these dancers, the electrolytes, perform. Your kidneys start acting differently, and hormones get into the mix, making it tough for your body to hold onto or let go of these crucial minerals. When the electrolyte act gets out of tune, you might start feeling weak, confused, or notice your heart beating irregularly. In severe cases, it can even become life-threatening. So it's like the body's warning sign to make sure you're taking care of it properly. Always prioritize your health and safety. Number six, cognitive function decline. You know that saying, the brain is the boss. Well, it's true. Even though our brain is only 2% of our body weight, it's a big energy hog, gobbling up about 20% of the energy we get from food, especially its favorite snack, glucose. So what happens when the steady supply of glucose is cut off during a five day fast? Now, if you decide to fast for five days and the glucose snacks stop coming in, your brain has to adapt. It's like running a fancy sports car on budget fuel. It's not as smooth, but it gets the job done. During fasting, your body shifts to using ketone bodies for energy, but the brain is a bit picky. It still wants some glucose. So it first grabs glucose from the liver's emergency stash, glycogen, and if that's not enough, it starts breaking down muscles to get what it needs. In this adjustment phase, some folks might feel a bit foggy upstairs. It's like the high performance car running on a different fuel. It still goes, but not as well. You might feel lightheaded, have trouble focusing, and your reactions might slow down. The good news, these effects are usually temporary, and once you start eating again, things go back to normal. So your brain's just reminding you to treat it right. Number seven, immune system suppression. All right, let's shine a light on our body's superhero squad, the immune system. These guys are like the 24 seven security detail, always on the lookout for trouble and ready to throw down with any unwanted guests. But if you decide to take a five day break from eating, even these tough defenders can feel the strain. You see, proteins, which we often think of as muscle boosters, also play a major role in our immune system. They help create antibodies, send signals, and build immune cells. Now, during a longer fast, your body is in conservation mode, trying to save resources for essential stuff. This means there's less protein available for the immune system to do its thing. And here's the kicker. With less of these protein heroes, our immune responses can take a hit. It's like asking your bodyguard to work over time with no snacks. So while your body is figuring out where to get energy during fasting, it might lower its defenses against unwelcome visitors like infections. Our immune system's a warrior, but it needs its fuel too. Number eight, changes in gut microbiota. All right, let's talk about our gut buddies, the trillions of microbes that call our stomach home. They're the real foodies, depending on what we eat to survive and thrive. Now, if you hit pause on eating for five days, it's like leaving these micropoles hungry and confused. Their community dynamics change. Some useful bacteria like Firmicutes, which help us get energy from food, take a hit. On the other hand, Bacteroidetes, which can manage the gut's mucus lining, might take over. 
in some extreme cases, these hungry microbes may even try a bold move, venturing from the gut into the bloodstream on a mission to find food. It's like the neighbourhood restaurant closing, and they're off searching for a meal elsewhere. This adventure might trigger inflammation across the body. Now, why does this matter? Well, recent studies have shown that when these gut buddies change their community, it can mess with our health. It's like rearranging a team without a game plan. This shift in gut microbes has been linked to all sorts of issues, from obesity and feeling down to serious stuff like autoimmune diseases and cancer. So when you fast and shake up this microbial party, it's like tossing a stone into a pond. The ripples can go a long way in affecting your overall health. To learn more about your gut microbiome, watch debunking eight common myths about your gut microbiome to stay ahead of the game. Don't miss out. Number nine, reduced thyroid function. Meet your thyroid gland, the metabolism maestro. When you decide to go on a five day fasting adventure, this gland adjusts itself to save energy. It hits the brakes on producing some thyroid hormones called T4 and T3, kind of like putting your metabolism in power saving mode. This slowdown is like your body's ancient survival tactic. It's saying, hey, let's conserve energy because food's in short supply. But here's the catch. This energy saving mode can make you feel like you're running on low battery. You might feel tired, get cold easily, have trouble going to the bathroom, and even feel a bit down. In simple terms, fasting for five days can make your metabolism go on vacation and you'll feel the effects on how you feel and function. So, while fasting has its potential benefits, it's important to listen to your body and prioritize your well-being. If you want to learn more about your thyroid gland, be sure to check out our video, Fix Your Thyroid Health Naturally with these nine superfoods. Remember, how you react to fasting can be as unique as your taste in music. It's similar to a private concert where factors like your genes, the composition of your body, and how you're feeling physically influence it. Safety first. Always have a chat with your healthcare buddy before you decide to go on a fasting adventure. They're like your backstage pass to fasting knowledge. And if you like this video, you'll definitely like some of our other videos, like 20 foods low in carbohydrates you need to eat. If you geeked out on this info, hit that like button, share the knowledge, and hit subscribe for your regular dose of Brainy Bits. Take care, stay awesome, and catch you in the next video.